Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another video, guys. I'm gonna be talking all about my everyday carry camera, the camera that's on my person every single day the minute I leave the house, and why earlier this year I chose the Fujifilm X-E4 to be that camera for me. So the mission was simple. Earlier this year, I told myself that I would allow myself to budget and buy for a brand new camera for just that for it to be a photo making tool that I could use every single day that would be in my bag, be on my person, capturing the moments and memories that I'm experiencing day in and day out. I knew that it needed to be small in size. I wanted to have interchangeable lenses so that I wasn't stuck to one focal length. I knew I wanted Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability to transfer stuff to my phone immediately. I wanted this camera to not be a hybrid shooting camera. I wanted this camera that I was purchasing to really bring back the original love for photography that I've had since I was in sixth and seventh grade when I had black and white photography classes and learned how to develop in a dark room back in middle school. I'm a Sony shooter and I use the Sony a7 IV, Sony a7 III, and I've had multiple and numerous other E-mount cameras by Sony over the years since they were first released in 2015 when I first started shooting on Sony. The tactile buttons on the camera make it feel like you're shooting just a camera. It doesn't have this digital experience. If you listen to this. You have an aperture ring on your lens, you have your shutter speed dial, and you're actually moving them. It's not a digital dial that you're moving forward or quickly scrolling through on the back of something like my Sony that I'm doing on an everyday basis. That, to me, was awesome. I was able to pull the camera up to my eye, keep the LCD off if I wanted to, and then set my dials and fire my shot. Another cool part of this camera is it gave me the ability instantly to just put it into an automatic point and shoot dad mode camera. It's a fully automatic camera. You can set the ISO to auto and instantly you're capturing moments. You can give it to someone on the street and have them take a photo of your family when you're out and about or when you're doing something fun. That was very important to me because I wanted to allow this to, again, not feel like work and just something I was using to capture everyday things. The form factor itself, and as you can see, my bottom fingers are hanging off. So it really is a small camera, it's a small camera body. And one thing that I've personally found that helps me hold the camera is the thumb grip. There is a hot shoe thumb grip on the back of this camera, as you see right here, that allows your thumb to rest in here and allows you to grip the camera. Never have I ever used something like this before, but I highly recommend if you do not use one of these on your Fujifilm, whether it's your X100V or it's your XE4, give one of these a try. It allows you to grip the camera and feel a lot more safe. I'm sure people are a little freaked out about this. Highly recommend doing that. Having the ability to interchange lenses on the camera was a very important thing that I wanted with the camera that I was gonna be purchasing. I shoot on two different lenses on this camera. First being the 27 millimeter, which on an APS-C camera is about a 40 millimeter full frame equivalent. And this is an F 2.8 and this is weather sealed. The other main lens that I use comes with this awesome, awesome all metal construction lens hood. It is the Fujifilm 18 millimeter F2, which in a full frame equivalent is about 28 millimeters. I love having these two different lenses back to back and they have such small form factor and size. You can slip them inside of a jacket pocket. It truly is a small everyday carry camera that most time just hangs around my neck and hangs and bangs and you don't even recognize that it's there. Personally, I believe that I tend to see most of the world in a 28 millimeter focal length. I love the ability of having a, a camera lens like this. This allows me to get up close to people when on street and shooting street photography, capturing other unique things going on in the scene and actually giving some sort of perspective on what's going on around them. Coming from the Sony system, one thing I really appreciate about the Fujifilm system is that when they release a line of cameras, all of those cameras have the same sensor. And this is the X-Trans 4 sensor. And this is a 26 megapixel sensor that multiple cameras released at the same time as this camera all have. Other well-known cameras in this release that also has the X-Trans 4 sensor are the X100V, the X-T3, and the X-Pro3. It made it easy for shopping for this camera because I could really just focus on what form factor, size, and style of a camera that I wanted. 
To truly give me the best experience with this camera, I use three different accessories on an everyday basis that allows me to get the most out of this camera and to make it the most comfortable and accessible for me. The first thing I use on this camera to make it absolutely awesome for me is, like I mentioned briefly earlier, the hot shoe thumb grip mount. It allows me to grip this camera, keep it safe in my hands, whether I'm shooting with a strap, without a strap, or with one of the wrist straps that I sometimes use when shooting street photography. Holding this camera, a lot of my fingers don't fit on the camera because I have larger hands and there's really no grip, but that's what makes this camera so damn good looking. It's just all of the edges. The second thing on the camera that I use on an everyday basis is a Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter. I really want to take the digital edge off photos. I want it to feel different and this accomplishes that, really bringing the Fujifilm simulations to a different level. The third thing is my Peak Design straps. Since I have a ton of different Peak Design straps, having these Peak Design quick links, and I love the black ones that I picked up from B&H, these quick links allow me to switch different straps on and off the camera seamlessly and make it extremely easy. So sometimes I can have a strap, sometimes I have a wrist strap. The strap I use every single day is made by a company called Clever Supply. It is an absolutely amazing handmade leather strap. This quality of this stuff, it's hands down, it's incredible. I get so many compliments on the camera and it really is a conversation starter when I'm out and about. People walk up and ask what kind of camera it is. People ask and wonder what I do, ask me if I'm a photographer. And I love talking about cameras. I love talking about gear. And I really love talking to people. Talking about durability of this camera, this camera body is not weather sealed at all. So if that's very important to you and you're doing a lot of shooting in heavy downpours and rain, you might wanna look at one of the other cameras. I have shot in a light trickle of rain, but nothing crazy and no issues so far. I did add onto this camera an AlphaGuard skin. So check out AlphaGuard, there's a link down below. I'm not getting paid, there's no sort of affiliate links or anything like that. Just something that I had trouble finding when starting to look at this camera. Nobody was really clear with how to do some of those things. And it really is as simple as it seems. They send an awesome toolkit and it's a 3M tape that sticks to your camera and it doesn't leave any residue because I've already taken it off once and applied a different one and it just looks super clean. And it adds a little bit of peace of mind for if anything were to happen to it. So the big elephant in the room, the X100V versus the XE4. In my opinion, looking at both cameras and researching both cameras, although I've never personally owned any of the X100 series, to me, I wanted the flexibility of the interchangeable lenses. It mattered more to me to have that. So I made a decision as simple off of that, new levels. I didn't wanna be stuck at a 35 millimeter. Although the optical viewfinder is awesome on the X100V and the ND filters that are built in on that camera are amazing and it is a little bit smaller with the lenses that it has. There are upsides of both of those, but at the end of the day, only you can choose what's best for you. I know throughout the video I've been splashing up a couple different images that I've captured with the XE4 throughout the last six months of this camera, but I thought I'd let the end of this video roll out with about 30 seconds of additional photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and watching another one. Questions, as always guys, drop them down in the comment below. I love building a community and being a part of the community on here, and I'm glad people are continuing to support this channel. It really means a lot. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, and Follow me on Instagram, it's at Curran Blevins. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.